Kate Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going down to the real county in Ireland, the Democratic Republic of Cork. And we're going to County Cork, down to uh, Yahal. I spent a lot of my childhood in Yahal, uh, on the sands, playing there and swimming, etc. So we're going to Yahal today, and delighted to be down, because I know lots of people in Yahal. So come with me now up to the canvas, and I'll show you what I've done. I have my standard 24 by 18 canvas, and again, I keep repeating myself, but you don't have to have that size when you're at home. Here I have Yard Lighthouse just stuck in there to speed things up because um, it, there's a lot of little detail. Not a whole lot, but there's enough in there to annoy me and, uh, and the director of programs, he doesn't give me a whole lot of time to do these programs and we have to make a living here in the studio with ads and things like that. So. We have to allow for all that. But what I've done, I've just drew the bare outline of, of the headlands over there, Yahal Lighthouse is here, and the sea comes in here. So what I'm going to do straight away is go over the whole lot with liquid white. So with a two-inch brush, I pick up some liquid white or magic white, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to cover all the canvas. So straight away now, I don't have to um, to mix any paint with the brush or with the, the knife, I can just pick it up off the palette because I can move the paint now. I can move the paint on the, on, on the, on the canvas. And look, there's the, there's the liquid white. So I, I can mix away fine. So if you come down to the palette now with one of the cameras, I'll pick up a little bit of blue and a bit of black. Not a whole lot. I'm showing you the, the amount there. Very little, very little. Because once you uh, put on the... Uh, the colors, or the, the mediums, you use very little color. Now there's black and blue. Phalo blue with black mixed into it, okay? And I'm going to let that run on down there. Let it run on down there, right over. Right about there. Bit of black on its own, into the corner. Might be a shower coming in over Yahal. There you go, right there, another bit of black, and again, this black is a different black. Watch it coming up, look at the form and look into the color. There's crimson in that, there's a red in that black, and that's what makes it so beautiful for Ireland. So, you'll hear a lot of people saying, you yeah, that fella there from Corky's I was using black and he shouldn't be using it but I'm telling you it's my best friend my best friend that is that black because it's already mixed in the tube and it's so good for Ireland now now here there is a shadow for a cloud look if ever I saw one hanging down there and down and down here then I'm just going to go straight across because the water is about down there somewhere. We'll find it. We'll find it. Mix up a bit of white and a bit of black. White and black. More black and white. Black and white. And that gives you a gray color. And funny enough, it's a warm grey, and if you want to warm it up, you can put a small bit of crimson into it. And that really makes it warm. Now, that'll warm up the skies of a yacht. Okay. So, today I'm going to see that the sun comes in from the right-hand side. And here, I'm going to put in a bold, bold, dark colour there. There's a big, big, big cloud coming in there, hanging in there, a little bit there, let it hang up there, over here, this is now just with the filbert brush, okay, I can soften all this down again later, okay, scrub it in. And again, I can soften that down, way down there. 
I better pick up some of this white paint and bring it over there so that whole cameraman can see what I'm doing. David is the cameraman at this end. Now, there you go. Pulling out that paint now. Pulling it out flat. And come on up here. Now I'm going to go to the, the right hand side of that, of that dark area here. Ah. Every time I come off, I wipe the brush on a tissue. And here. Now I'm going to get let that run back in here, very gentle, very gentle. And more paint. And here, I can run that in there. And I'm going to push the blue of that sky back out to outer space. Push it out there. Get back now. Get back into outer space there, Mr. Blue Sky. And again now, I'm picking up the grey now. I'm going to show you this to the camera now, the, the dirty colour on the brush. And there it is, look, to see the grey on that brush. And you use that to your advantage as a shadow colour. Now up here. And I'm standing back to look at this. Just tapping now, I'm not painting. I'm tapping. No, that's fine. And very gently, big long strokes, big long strokes. Very big, whisper to it. Come on, Mr. Cloud. Come on, Mr. Sky, sit down over. Y'all today for me. Thank you, thank you. Very gentle, whisper to it. Thank you. And down, and down, and down. And that's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, and that's fine. There's a dark color, and there's the, the light against the dark. And then you have the dark against the light, and the light against the dark. And then you have the blue of outer space here. And then you have the dark here, and the light, and the dark, and the light. And each color is playing against the other color and will stand out in contrast, called counter change. So watch that, and if you ever, when you're putting in your colours, have about half and half, 50-50, you won't be far out, the light against the dark, and the dark against the light. Okay, so let's get down here. So I'm going to get a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Just a little bit. And I get in the bear, just the, the idea of where the headlands are over there across the bay. They're not big now, they don't rise up like mountains. And you notice now that this will push the sky back. Push it back. I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, maybe that gray color there that I had for the sky. Just to give it a small bit of distance. That'll do fine. And let that go down into the water there. Another bit of that Van Dyke Brown. and that will push that one back there. No detail. Over there then there's quite a bit of growth and uh, there's fields and things that add. Pick up a bit of yellow and let it mix with the blue. I don't want it over here but as you're coming closer there look there's a bit of, bit of light and you know that there's a bit of greenery things happening over there. Well the old farmers will have to make a shilling or two or a few euros. God, I'm confused, all the different currencies in my lifetime. Between pounds, shillings and pence, and one and six, and two and truppence, and <laughs> the younger generation don't know about those currencies. And then we had pounds, and then we had punts, and now we have euros. There's no wonder I'm gone grey. Now, there's a little bit, a little bit of detail, but not a whole lot. I'm going to switch now to um, a fan brush over there 
and get a, a little bit of depth into that sea. The water's come right in there, look. Right in there. They come right into the bay and right up. Up in here goes right up into the black water. This is the estuary of the black water. Comes right in. And I'm going to get the detail knife. Just put a little bit of detail across the way over the other side. I don't want any highlights as such, but to let you know that there's, there's a shore over there. But I don't want any great detail on it. There's a shoreline over there. Just nice and gentle, no detail. It's too far over for detail. And now I've got to go right into the base of that. Right in. That's fine. Now I'll switch now back to the, to the fan brush here. Picking up a bit of paint here. A bit of white. And I just get a bit of a sparkle back in there. This is an old shipping town here now. Docks are still there and all the old dock sites now are all transformed into beautiful apartments and everything like that. Beautiful place. Yahal. And it's a lovely old town. Great character in it. The film Moby Dick was, was made down here. And I think there's a there's a pop called Moby Dick as far as I know down there. Now, small bit of liquid white here. And I'm going to get a water line right over under the bank there. Just to give it a bit of distance and get all that. Over here would be, I think, just down here was Ferry Point. One time, before the age of the motor car, when there's only an added person had a motor car, you could go over in a boat over, on a boat trip over to Ferry Point and pick lovely shells and that over there, but that's kind of gone now. Everybody has cars now, as far as I can see. Now, except myself, I still have an old Heinley bike, cycling all the way up to Dublin to do these programs and down again. And my auntie would be given out because I stole the bike. <laughs> now, there you go. Okay, so that gets me the distance and gives me the, the, the sky. What I've got to do now, there's lots and lots. I think i continue with this dark color and bring it on down there. Black, I'm going to stay with the black now. There. No. All black. Small bit of blue now. Introducing a small bit of colour. Be careful. And I like a bit of green too. I don't know why there's always green around the hut. Is it weed? Oh, algae? What is it? I don't know. Somebody will tell me. Some of the fishermen down there might tell me. Now, change to the knife. Van Dyke Brown. Maybe a bit of cyan in with it. Just to warm it up. Small bit of cyan, dark cyan. There's lots and lots and lots of rocks all along here. Coming right down. All along there.
and they're kind of don't be that severe there that leveling off a bit here just put it on with the knife and I like um, to pull it at an angle of 45 degrees I can see myself getting in my own way here now and I'm going to go back to the sea again if I don't I will be in my own way so I'm going to pick up another bit of white and I'm just going to get a sparkle in there Small sparkle. Now I'm going to go back, back here to the the rock face. There's quite a bit of a um, bit of greenery up there as well, mixing. I better go back to that. I got the fan brush again. Cad yellow. Yellow ochre, bit of green, bit of that brown. So there's a bit of growth coming down there. Let it mix there with the with the rocks. Now I go back to these rocks again. Again with the brown. Now before I go any further, I, um, before I started this, I had uh, some contact paper in here because I didn't have the time. I told you, I explained that at the start. To, um, I'm just going to pull some of this out and um, get some of this tape off here. And your whole lighthouse is up there on the, on the left hand side. There's a little bit of a jetty walkway there, look. There's just there, and uh, I just let that intermingle in there with that rock face. And then I can get back on with the rocks again, just that way. I'm just walking the knife up and down here now. And it will go into the liquid white that I have inside. And that will shove that back. And that will shove this. They're all running out there now. More or less that way now. They level off out there. And I can highlight some of these now in a moment. Just texture now, and I, uh, about an angle of 45 degrees is a good angle for, uh, like from your left shoulder to your right, would be a good angle for rocks and things like that. You won't be far out of that. Now I'm going to highlight some of these rocks. When I was a child, I used to spend on my holidays in Yahan every year. And uh, it was, they were the days of the old steam engines when uh, the excursions would be up and down. There could be seven trains on a Sunday up and down from Cork City to Yahan. And uh, I remember all those, I'd be below and I think I invented beach combing because when the I'd be on my holidays and when I think the first trains used to start going back around half past three or four o'clock. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of um, white hair, bit of yellow ochre, and a bit of cyana into that white. Not mixing it proper, but anyway, the trains would. But the last train would be seven o'clock in the evening or sometime like that, and uh, I'd walk the beaches then and. <laughs> People would be sitting down and all day long and the <laughs> a tanner might fall out of a fella's pocket or something because he was putting his arms around a girl or some other his girlfriend. 
He was too busy thinking about other things, and he'd be down to Perth's carnival with the tenor. Uh, all people rushing for the, to get back in the excursion back again. And uh, I often said, did I invent beach combing? I'd walk the beaches in the evening, I'd get spades and buckets and things like that. <sighs> now, there's the rocks down there, and I used to come on down through these rocks as well. Right down through the rocks. Uh, but I was very cute enough that uh, I always waited for the, the tide to start turning to go out. There was all lovely shells and everything in, inside and little caverns in these rocks. At the other side of the lighthouse, there's a little strand. And some of my fondest memories were uh, my father used to bring me. And maybe the people of Yohal, somebody might write and tell me, but there was... Um, down on the beach, the people would watch from the wall when the tide was gone out and the lovely smooth sand. And there was a, there was a man and he was deaf and dumb. God loved the man. And he used to draw beautiful, beautiful designs on the sand. And the people would throw coins down, pennies and hairpennies down to him. And I often wondered who was that man. So maybe the people of Yahal, somebody must know him or who he was. He was a lovely man at the other side of that lighthouse. Now I'm going to go back here to um, into this. Now I'm going to get some liquid white and white, and get in some more more water lines. And of course, this is also a great fishing town. Lots of boats going out here doing salmon fishing, and all types of fishing here in this area. And the tide comes out of the rims. The black water is coming out here. It reads, uh, this is where it enters the sea in Yahal. After making its way all the way down from Kerry. The only thing that doesn't come down from Kerry are the footballs. They leave the water down and leave all the debris. But <laughs> they have some way of keeping the footballs in Kerry. Just in case we get our hands on them. Hmm. And down here then. Now I'm going to have a peep at the clock. Okay, well, okay. And your man is not even unto me. We must be okay. And here. So if anybody in Yahal, County Cork, all the old stockers we might call them, might be able to tell me who was that gentleman that used to draw the designs on the sand on the, on, on the little, at the other side of that lighthouse. And of course, we have the famous Walter Raleigh Hotel over there. Beautiful hotel. Great crack and entertainment at night on the weekends. In there. And all the other pubs around that area. There's lots of activity around Yahal in the summer. Now, there you go. Right down there. Do you know what? I think I have a minute. I think I have. Now, what I'm going to do, look, I'm going to get a little bit of a uh, black, and I'm thinning out that black color on the uh, on the brush, F a little line of brush, and I'm going to come up here. Just come up here a minute, and yeah, look. I'm going to make a little boat out there in the harbor. Small boat out there in the harbour, just working its way up. Here, and there's a salmon fisherman in there. Just there, lifting his net. Get in under that with a knife. Here. Get in under that. And a little bit of white. Now I've been, now I'm being probed on the ankles. So I am. 
I'm just going to just a few little gulls there, like out in the harbour, bringing back old memories to me of the old carnivals, and later on I danced here and courted here. <laughs> and we better leave it at that. So until we meet again, Garamila Mahogat, Schlanlet, and God bless you all, my friends. <laughs>